Hello everyone. I hope you can see me and you can hear me well. There are not... Uh... Oh no. Hold on a second. I think there's a big delay. I think there's a big delay or at least... Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna talk and sorry if in the beginning there was some... Mm. Hello everyone. Okay, yes. Hi. All right, so uh, uh, first of all, I want to say if you're looking for some controversy today, you're not gonna get it here. I will not be giving like harsh criticism to FIDE's decision and I'm not gonna say that FIDE did everything right, not at all. Uh, I'm just gonna express some of my thoughts, but at first I would start with uh, the, the the chess itself. So, if uh, I hope everyone is is up to up to date on information. So the tournament was cancelled uh, due to uh, Russia's Federation decision to stop all the flights uh, starting, I think, tonight, and so they had to cancel the tournament abruptly and uh, exactly after 50 percent so Nepomneshi and Maxim Vashelagrev are in clear lead with uh, plus two out of seven and Karwana, Giri, Van Kau and Grishchuk are at 50 percent so um, uh, I think uh, MVL is not happy with the tournament being cancelled uh, from chess point of view because he just got a great win against uh, Nepo and I think Nepo would be quite happy because after a loss uh, you wanna you wanna take your time and uh, everybody else I do not know. So uh, a few more thoughts on Fides. Uh, I didn't um, express my thoughts on this topic uh, for many reasons. One reason is I don't know enough information that uh, Fide officials have or the players uh, from the tournament uh, hall. So I really don't like those situations when someone is giving very harsh opinions without knowing um, enough details. Um, nevertheless, I'm going to say the following. Uh, I think Fidesz's decision to continue with the tournament is logical and most people do it. Um, we never, never get credit for not doing something, you know. They say, oh, what did you do? I did nothing and it worked out. Nobody is, although very often that is a correct decision, uh, nevertheless, there are no movies about that. <laughs> you know, the, the movies are about people taking risks and succeeding. And uh, so uh, the only right decision was to not start the tournament to begin with. And then no one would have uh, even a shred of critique because of course everybody is stopping everything. It makes sense. So that was only right decision from the perspective of not getting any criticism. Um, but that is not uh, what most people do, I guess. Uh, and uh, it turned out that the tournament had to be cancelled, which seems to be unfair to Rajabov. And uh, lots of people are not happy, lots of people are happy. The, the, the chess world is divided now and I don't like that. Uh, I think as a chess fan I'm happy that those seven rounds were played. I'm happy that all the players and all the, as far as I know, all the people involved in the, in the tournament are healthy and uh, and I think all the players are either home or about to get home safely and that's uh, the good thing. So I don't like that the world is being divided. Uh, after the tournament has started uh, it's already been divided I'm guessing um, and uh, I want to unite it somehow but uh, I don't think it is in my power. So as a chess fan I'm happy that those seven rounds were played I look forward to the, uh, the end of this tournament, whenever it happens, maybe. The, I think they said they will not change the players. So Rajabov claimed that he, he, uh, it would be fair if he gets the spot again, because that's exactly the reason, as far as I know, uh, he said that he abandoned the tournament. And so in these force majeure situations, it's really, uh, all decisions are wrong, I would say, in a sense. So p partly right, but uh, some people would still be unhappy about, uh, about any decision uh, that would, would or would not be made by FIDE regarding the continuation of this tournament. Mm. 
And there was some thought to give to give a spot in next candidates to Rajabo, uh, hypothetical uh, uh, wild card of those 2022 20, candidates would be against it. So there is no good uh, decision anymore. You know, in bad positions, all moves are bad. So we're in a bad position. Uh, but I really don't like either like very clear support. No, Fida did everything right or very harsh criticism, they did everything wrong. I don't think the truth is uh, at the either end of this spectrum. I Usually the truth is somewhere in the middle. And uh, again, the only uh, right decision from the perspective of not getting criticism was to cancel the tournament, uh, to be, not to even begin the tournament. But I also want to give one more thought about that. We human beings have this uh, psychological bug, I would say, which from a mathematical point of view doesn't make sense. Uh, I would say uh, we treat losses harder than gains from money perspective, of, of opportunity perspectives. So um, uh, losing $100 or gaining $100, uh, the, the happiness from gaining and the, the bad mood of, of losing it, we don't like losing. So we would, uh, there was a YouTube video about uh, a guy offering to flip a coin and so we play, I give you 10 bucks if you guess and you give me 10 bucks if you don't guess, which is an even game, mathematically speaking. People didn't want to play it. And then he suggested I would give you $15 if you guessed the, the coin flip. People still said I don't want to lose $10. That doesn't make any sense mathematically because mathematically you would get more or less 50% and uh, so you'll be on average you'll be gaining five bucks per uh, no, two and a half bucks per, uh, per flip. But people didn't want to lose that hypothetical $10 because they can lose once, twice, three times in a row. But on average, they would, the strategy, mathematical, mathematical strategy is to play that game. We treat losses harder and not uh, abandoning the tournament, uh, canceling the tournament weeks before it starts. That's like accepting loss without any chances for a win. So I feed a gambled and well, this is the result. Um, uh, another example that, that I remember studying in uh, mathematical faculty when we studied human uh, psychology and uh, well, we studied, uh, not, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce in English properly, not exact sets. So not like a set with clear elements, uh, the, if the sets are not really clear and the psychology of treating those, like well, a set of many, what is many? We don't have a like precise definition of word many. Uh, so the, um, the story was that, let's say you have a business, $1 million business, and uh, there's a 10% chance you're gonna lose everything and 90% that you're gonna keep it, keep your business. And uh, so mathematically speaking, you don't have a million, you have 900,000 because 90% you get everything and 10% uh, you get nothing. So actually you're, you are worth 900,000. And they say, here comes the buyer and says, I would give you 800,000 for your business. Uh, Ah, yes, Derek on Veritas, Veritasium or Verit Veritasium. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Valeri. So, and the offer was I give you 800,000 and, uh, uh, and I buy your business with risks. And most people would agree to take it because that's guaranteed money. I'm definitely not going to lose. And, uh, and another scenario is the opposite. So you're a rich person, but you have a business that in 90% of cases, you're going to lose $1 million. And in 10%, you're going to break even. So exactly the same situation, but in reverse, uh, um, well, negative. And, uh, and they say, uh, the guy comes and says, uh, you pay me 800,000 now and I take your business and I take the risk. And everyone said, no, I would not. Losing 800,000 right now, are you crazy? I have 10% chance to, to break even. So mathematically, these are same situations, but most people, when it comes to gains, they settle for less just to gain stuff. And when it comes to losses, they would gamble uh, till the end, basically. So that's like, that's why people lose all the money in, in roulette. You know, you, they try to, to get them back. And uh, 
So uh, the, the right decision was probably not to uh, do the tournament, but that's like accepting 800,000 loss in our psychology. So mathematically, it, it probably was the right decision, but not from psychological or a uh, way uh, that our brains are functioning. Uh, so these are some thoughts I... <laughs> I haven't really followed many of the news on the topic. Lots of people yelling, screaming at each other. I really don't like it. Uh, I like something that unites us. So especially in the face of, uh, of this um, COVID-19, we need to be united, not, not to be cut into pieces. So I would just wish you um, all to be uh, healthy, stay home, stay safe, take care of your family. Don't visit your grandparents. <laughs> and uh, I would be uh, st streaming uh, on a regular basis. So feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. And you can check my previous videos and previous streams. Thank you for watching. Um, take care. And bye-bye.